Turkey endured an extraordinary and challenging time because of the July 15 coup attempt. We followed the events very closely as our acquisition of DigiTurk only completed in August. We were first and foremost concerned about our colleagues and their families. And as a guest in this great country, I observed the courage and the determination of the Turkish people to be unrivaled. There can be no greater testament to the people than to be willing to sacrifice your life to protect your ideal of way of living. I feel very proud that DigiTurk, as one of Turkey leading media company, did as much as we could to contribute to the struggle of Turkey and the Turkish people in this fight. I personally very proud that despite the intrusion of the coup plotter into our headquarters, our employee never left their duties, even for a moment. I extend my gratitude to them once again, and I offer my thoughts and prayer to those who lost their lives on July 15. Their heroic acts will never be forgotten. The coup attempt in question was considered to pose damages in the social and economic areas and to cause fluctuation in the economy of Turkey, but it didn't and it did not happen like that nor stopped us from acquiring DigiTurk. Subsequent to the purchase of DigiTurk, we won the Turkish Super League media rights by agreeing the biggest sports investment in Turkey in the history of the country. Such investments are strong proof of our trust and faith in this great country. We will continue to invest in Turkey as our vision is a long-term vision. I think ultimately Turkey will be stronger and more united because of experiencing this great challenge. Turkey has so much potential thanks to its young people, long-term economical vision, and to the committed and decisive leadership. I'm confident that the future is very bright for Turkey and its people, and only I can pray may Allah protect this beautiful Turkey and its wonderful people.